Welcome back to your weekly episode of cancellations from United States of America, baby! Because today, Sweet Baby Inc. is canceling Asmongold. They hate gamers. They hate you. They hate me. They hate gaming. They hate everything about gaming. But they cannot stop talking about gaming! And today, they are going after Asmongold. And mind you, not long ago, they even mocked the passing of Dragon Ball Z maker Akira Toriyama. Yay! We're gonna be getting right into it. Let's go for two likes on the video. Please like this video. One like for each gender here, guys, and roll it. Uh, it's been pretty impressive to see the kind of uh, uh, the the kind of response I've been getting. People are trying to cancel me. They want me canceled again. Again? Okay. Oh man. Why is that? Well, because today is the day that ends in the letter Y. Okay. Now, what exactly did I do? Well, Asmongold is a gigantic piece of shit. Yeah. And the reason we're currently in the midst of what can be described as hell. Dog. Even for Come on, dog. Like, <laughs> tweeting on Twitter is not the equivalent of living in hell. Imagine tweeting on Twitter and thinking that you're living in hell, bruh. For people divorced from the current situation. Well, if this person's in hell... Where's a person that lives in Palestine or Ukraine? You know, I wonder, like, where does that rank on the scale? Yeah. Because... Damn, homie. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's super hell. Man, <laughs> we are living in some of the easiest times ever. If you're in North America, bro, if you're in a third world country, or first world country, rather, Bruh. you are living in some of the blessed times ever. Being on Twitter, that's not living hell, my G. You have the internet. You have the phone on you for crying out loud. You are blessed. If you have the internet, if you have roof above your head, you got water coming in. Bro, you are blessed, man. What are we talking about here, dog? That you're in hell? I don't think so, man. I think that you have a few people that are disagreeing with you on the internet. That's not really a big deal, is it? They're hell divers too. Yeah, apparently. And so, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Mark Hearn Grums uh, says on Twitter, he says, cancel pigs are going after Asmongold and trying to get people to unsponsor him, including Capcom. Yeah. These people are actually disgusting harassers that have terrorized gaming and comics for too long. <laughs> Asmon has a right to cover gaming and have opinions. Yeah. Also, um... Man, these things believe in billions and billions of genders, and that's fair, okay? That's uh, hey, man, that's you. I, I'm nobody to tell you differently, okay? I, I I'm I'm a traditional guy. I was uh, in school, and back when I was in school, they were telling me there's a male and there's a female. Bruh. There's a male, there's a female. They were telling me two genders, so I grew up with that. I believe there are two genders. You believe there are billions of genders. Fair, right? But these suckers, they want to believe in billions and billions of genders, but they cannot believe that other people can have opinions too. They think their opinion is the right, and there's only one opinion, but if you have a different difference of opinions, they're like, nah, bro, cancel, disposal, it's over, and all that crap. They cannot so this believe is in the, different this opinions. So this is the issue that... This is the issue that people have, is that they have no issue and no problem talking about their opinions on things, but whenever somebody else has another opinion that's different than theirs, now they're being harassed. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Harassment absolutely. is not the same as disagreement. Yeah. If I'm disagreeing with you, you're not being harassed. Yeah, one, and like, also, one like for each gender on the video, guys. Oh. There have been... T if it get... Okay, let, let's make it real. If it get 1,000 likes, then uh, there are 1,000 genders, all right? Like, how about that? <laughs> How about that now? Bro? Two likes for two uh, for each gender. Two likes for each gender. Tons yes. of people. People are talking about me, uh, you know, them getting harassed. Oh my god. There are people commenting every hour for me to kill myself. I'll kill yourself. Oh, damn, I hope homie. you die. Uh, you're a piece of shit. Everything like that. And I want to let you know it's not their fault. Look, there's mentally ill kids on the internet that shouldn't, they should be in like, I don't know, like a mental institution or something. But we got rid of those, so they're on the Twitter. And so it's not really their fault that these kids are saying this stuff. It's just what happens. So, how Bruh. how am I the harasser whenever I'm getting the death Did threats probably really just more say, than they are? Did he really just say that? Cancel Asmund Gold times two. Ding, 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 ding. Your honor, cancel Asmund Gold right now. How does this make sense? By that logic, aren't they harassing me? What about this? And so the problem, I think, comes down to people that feel like they have a moral 
mandate. They have a moral mandate to talk about their opinions on issues and to expect everybody else to bow down to that opinion. And if other people disagree, even in a way that's respectful or non-aggressive, yeah. It's not enough for them, yeah, because yeah, yeah. everything that is Facts. a disagreement is aggressive to them, and any type of disagreement is violence. It is harassment. It's just insane, right? Like, they want to force their beliefs down everybody, everybody throats, and they believe that there are billions and billions of genders. I'm saying fair, right? Like, fair. You believe in that, I don't believe in that. You do you, I do me. But the, the fact that I'm saying this, they're like, no, harassment, harassment, toxic masculinity, you're toxic, you're a menace to society, you should be canceled, you should be deplatformed, all that. Bro, like, what are we talking about here? Leave the video games alone. And recently, I, I could be wrong, but I'm hearing that Helldivers 2, they just said no to all the LGTV bull crap so i gotta say don demarco real quick in before they actually accept all of that and whatever i mean listen if you want the lg tv crap bro you got call of duty there's there's like the bbc bundles with cat ears they them situation gender pronouns all that i mean you can play call of duty for that crap bro like not, not every game needs to have woke politics in it okay one two games all right fair fine okay but not like nine games out of ten they gotta have woke politics come on man like video games are escape for people man not people don't want to have that bowl squash down their throat bro like it's it, people people want to play games to have fun it's uh come on dog what are we doing and here, if bro? you escalate the vocabulary you create a world where responding to that in a distorted way right like trying to ruin somebody's life over disagreeing with you on twitter yeah. you you make that reasonable Be bro like america and i mean canada but america canada almost similar right america canada have some of the like our women here are highest in testosterone Bruh. bro like we don't need any of that bull crap in our games our women here has some of the highest in testosterone bro like what are we doing america's number one in woman having highest high testosterone every every kid here want to be a tiktoker in china sick want to be astronaut teacher musician you know good qualities these are good professions not saying becoming a tiktoker youtuber or streamer is bad by any means Bruh. but like when everybody want to become a tiktoker then we have a problem who is gonna become an astronaut? We need more astronauts. We need more <laughs> people. We do not need menace to societies. We do not need TikTokers. There are enough TikTokers. Yeah, do TikToks. Shake that ass on the side if you want to. But Bruh. we also need somebody going to the space as well. We need somebody to be strong. You know, we don't want to be they them running around everywhere. Okay, some they them. All right, that's fine. But like, if everybody turns they them, then then China is just gonna nuke all of us, and it's all. It's over. It's over. You know what I mean? You're, we're just gonna be thinking about. Imagine China launches a nuke at us, right? It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And we have they them sitting in a on a in like desk somewhere, and they have to stop it or you know call the president. But but they're like, uh, is it a he? Is it a she? Is it a he? Uh, I'm not sure. Like uh, should uh, should the president must know? Yeah, call him. No, bro, it's not him. It's her. Uh, they them. Uh, but, but who? Uh, Joe Biden. They. Joe Biden. He. Joe Biden. She. Joe Biden. They them. They're gonna be busy discussing the pronouns and we're nuked! We're over! It's Finato, it's Denzo, it's Joe over. Dog, like, what are we doing here, bruh? Because you're changing the vocabulary of it. And I think that's what happens. And so these people are very, um... Uh, they're, they're very toxic. They're extremely toxic. And I think that every normal person on Twitter, there's like seven of them, um, realizes that. And I think that people are tired of it. I think that people are tired of being lectured yeah, on morality, yeah. tired Absolutely. of being told what to think yeah. by people who are, by all accounts, shitty. I don't want to be told what to do by a fucking asshole. The fucking dumbass. Like, I don't want to be lectured about how much of a bad person I am by somebody who's worse than me. Yeah, exactly. It's always like, uh, this is just banter, like, this is just sarcasm. It's all always is like those Twitter Andys that are like, yo, Asman go living with cockroaches. He wears the same t-shirt. He wears, uh, you know, he never showers all that dog. Like, come on, bro. Like, the guy's a millionaire. <laughs>
<laughs> the guy's a millionaire. He's doing what he loves, and yeah, he, he's doing all right, I guess. But yeah, you gotta clean up so you don't uh, don't have cockroaches all around. That's kind of messed up. But but it's one of those things, right? If China were to nuke the U.S. and the Canadas and the North America, the cockroaches will still be alive. So in a way, Asmund Gold is coming out with a W here. You know, you feel what I'm saying? At least his friend's gonna be staying alive. Meanwhile, we're, we're dead. What's this? Because of the day them stupid. People are just tired of the left in general. I don't think people are tired of the left. I think most people on the internet are probably more left wing, including me. But what people are tired of is they are tired of bad actors that have inserted themselves into the space, created a position of power for themselves, and then leveraged that position of power in order to do things that are in their own agenda not towards a leftist agenda, not towards anything else, just towards their own agenda. And they do obviously make left-wing people look bad. They, they absolutely do. I think that left-wing, like, uh, like left-wing politics has, like, a huge problem. Like, for example, like, right-wing politics, and, like, like right-wing politics is also having this problem now, but for a long time it didn't, right? Where it's like there was a clear line between conservatism and, like, uh, you know, people that are like, I don't really want to say Nazis, right? But like people that are just like super totalitarian. But like ever since like Trump and then like, you know, emotional escalation. Uh I tell you what he's trying, I mean, yeah, right? It's one of those things I think he's trying to say that it's like you have 10 people doing good stuff. But then there's like one guy that's like a bad apple, just one, that's just, just one thing bad. And everybody, all 10 of those people that were doing nice things, they get labeled. This happens all the time in religion, happens all the time with race, different race, uh, it, 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 with countries as well. It's like one bad apple does something bad. It's like the entire religion in the entire country, the entire race gets labeled, right? And it's one of those things. I'm pretty sure like some of the, they, they, them, uh, some, some of those folks are actually good people. They're decent people. They're just uh, uh, doing whatever they love doing and they're not hurting anybody and yeah that's fair right you do you right uh more power to you but but like there are surely like a lot of these delusional ass people that are making all of the lgtv crowd look bad right i think that there is kind of a harder way to get those people out of the space in, in right-wing politics as well but in left-wing politics what happens a lot is that it's kind of like it's like they can't remove these bad actors and extremists from their spaces because the bad actors and extremists, to be fair, are popular. And that's really the truth. So you have people that are effectively like, I think that they are damaging the entire progressive movement. I think that it, it does damage progressive movements whenever you have people that are trying to push against racism. You just gotta be fearless. You gotta be strong. You gotta be independent. You gotta be fearless uh, and uh, drink maybe a Bud Light. No, don't drink Bud Light. It's, uh, it's Astaghfirullah! It's haram. It's haram. Um, ...that have a tweet history of being racist. Because any reasonable person is gonna see that and be like, oh, geez, like, this is fucking bullshit. Like, I don't want to be around these guys. And so, whenever that happens, the entire movement is damaged. The entire movement is weaker, and the culture inside of those movements... Yeah, people don't take you serious either. It's... yeah, yeah. ...doesn't... It, it, it doesn't have, like, an apparatus or, like, a, a mechanism to remove those people. Most people are like this, right, with the LGTV crap. It's like, dog, like, you doing you, you want to put the PP in another man, go for it, right? But don't tell me that I need to put my PP in another man. Like, I just can't. I'm, I'm not, I'm simply not wired that way, right? But if you are wired that way, you want to put your PP in another man, go for it. I have no problem. We good though, we cool though, but like, that's you, you do you, but don't tell me to suck another man's the BBC, right? It's just one of those things, and when it gets, obviously I'm giving you an extreme example, but simply put, like, you're a human, I'm a human, we're both humans, like, I don't wanna slap you, you don't wanna slap me, you don't wanna slap me, I don't wanna slap you. Bruh. It's just simple as that, just don't shove your beliefs down my throat, and I won't do it either. Just uh, simple as that, right? Just simple as that. And so they just stay in there and they make it worse. Yeah, they are the progressive movement. Well, they weren't for a very long time. Uh, it, it's very interesting for me to see this. You know, uh, back in 2009, I had signed up and I, I got hired to do, um, like, kind of like a activism work. I was, like, 19 at the time. And uh, for, like, Greenpeace oh, to support, you know, environmentalism and to support things like Planned Parenthood and stuff like that that I believed in. And so, uh -huh. really, I mean, this is, and, and this is something, like, I just straight up, like, I went on a website, 
I signed up. I wrote a big, long fucking thing. They called me the next day. It was Damn. the next fucking day. I remember I was at my dad's house. Next it was one day? of the first jobs that I had actually applied for that I wanted to have. I don't really Damn, view that honey. as a, um, what do you call it? Toxic? I had that too to get laid. <laughs> no, I just, I mean, like, to me, I mean, I, I have a lot of opinions on things, and I'm always willing to, you know, like, put my money where my mouth is, or... You know, like really go out there and, and try to advocate for things because I think that's the right option, right? That's the right thing to do. Uh, you know, if you can't fight for what you believe in, why do you even exist? And mm. so anyway, um, damn, like, damn. I think this is a this is a very very big systemic problem, and um, people are going. I, to I feel like that in gen generally speaking, right? Like I, we're really heading towards the this era of hey, if you disagree with me, hey man, like, that's a that offense. That's a that's off that's off that offense. And all of a sudden, we're hating each other. Nah, bro, like disagreeing, bro. Like how many times you disagreed with your mama, bro? Like think about it. Mama was like, uh, you know what? Uh, I'll give you uh, like, do you want to eat this for din dinner? And you're like, no, mama. I wanna drink. I wanna drink something else. I wanna eat something else. That's called disagreement too, in a way, right? But nowadays it's like we cannot have disagreements. It's like either you agree, 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 or we're not friends anymore. Agree, 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 or nah, bro, you're toxic, you're manipulating, you right? What I mean? We're really heading towards that. Like con conversation, this is the end of conversation. That's the the, the era we're living in right now, bro. They try to get mad at me, but. I hope that there are, like, people that are, like, more left-wing that understand that I'm actually trying to help them. In the long run, I am. Because these people, like, these sweet baby people and these guys that are just, like, randomly throwing out, like, a bunch of words, then acting like animals, these people... Yo, I just realized, okay, Asman says that he's left and fair. That's, uh, that's him, right? He's left, but it's like... The left people are trying to cancel cancel the left. Oh shit! Oh, they the they want to eat their own. You know, there's a saying. It's like, there we are. Bomb there we are. The classic. That's a certified hood classic. Guys. Are going Why to not? ruin your movement. They're going to ruin your your progress because people see that and they just reflexively are against it. And, and they whenever this person serious. is encapsulating your values as well as their own, they will then in turn be against your values as well. People yeah. might disagree with me because I am against people that are on their side, but I hope they understand that those people are actually not on their side. They are not on mm. the vast majority of a normal people's sides. These are Dang. extreme people that are bad actors. But you are left wing though? Uh, it's not about whether you're left wing <laughs> or right wing. Like the fix. But you're left wing though! And, and yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing though. Like, I, I guess the media has really, really did a good thing they did a really good thing dividing us all guys i mean kudos to the media right there you know cheers to the media good job on dividing everybody right now because left middle right hey you're blue you're white you're purple you're black you're brown hey man uh, you're muslim you're christian you're atheist uh you're jude this and that like yeah dividing you know dividing dividing us all like that bro dividing us all like lgtv non-lgtv you're gay you're lesbo you're this and that you're straight you're bi uh, yeah, the, good job dividing us all. ...station on determining whether somebody is on one side or another is done by simple-minded people. Uh, I think that there's a lot of topics that people have different varied viewpoints on, and it's not as simple as just, like, one category or another. So, whenever I see people get angry about me, about me doing this, I think that they don't realize that I'm trying to help them. I am trying to help them because I remember what it was like whenever you could have any type of person in a movie and if somebody was upset about it people would just think that that person was an idiot there wasn't this like massive uh you know movement against having representation of minorities and different types of people in movies it was just it is what it is but because these people who see everything literally in black and white have tried to co-opt these movements for their own benefit by the way not for any sort of ideology for their own benefit uh, they have ruined these movements, and they've taken them and turned them into tools that alienate people away from what would be a good cause. Mm. And you see this now on Twitter. You see people now. Uh, good cause, okay. Define good cause, because I'm not sure. <laughs> Bomb but but I, I understand where he's coming from. I understand the point he's trying to make. But okay, being a good cause, that's subjective, though. Oh, that are like, we're we're going as far back to be like I'm seeing popular things about how like being gay is bad. 
Like, I didn't see this five years ago. I didn't see, I, like, I didn't see this ten years ago. For the, yeah, that's one of those things that I was saying, right? Uh, like, okay, you... you that, that's the thing, though. People don't have a problem with what you do. People don't give a damn about what somebody else's does right they care for the drama don't get me wrong like drama all right fair but nobody everybody's so busy with their lives with their with their stuff they're thinking about everybody's selfish right so everybody's thinking about their goals aspiration nothing wrong with that like i mean at the end of the day do you really want to know like uh, who's doing what now i mean you want to catch up with your friends and homies your family absolutely not talking about them but generally people don't care like about your roman romantic options or your relationships or anything like that people just don't give a damn whether you're straight uh gay bless, whatever right they don't care about that and, and people didn't care yeah you are you are i am not i am not simple as that but now the group is saying bro you gotta be like us too you know you gotta teach your kids that crap and then it's gonna be all right you see then protect the trans kids you know all that kind of crap and then it's like people are like nah bro enough is enough enough is enough you bag the f off that's where we're headed right now guys click on this video on the screen this was the last video that we've done act man uh we have uh, the, the homie uh asman gold things got very heated on the left though this is on my second channel check it out guys we have a, i started a brand new channel as well and uh, i'll see you right there